This is the first video you should watch before watching everything else. If you're interested in the slave training or in um, just becoming my friend or finding out more about the splits and how to stretch, it doesn't matter. This is the introduction, the basic, and I will tell you what I'm all about and what this is all about. I am Lena, and uh, I'm into healthy lifestyle, which has a very wide meaning. Well, basically what I think is that um, keeping balance between healthy mind and healthy body is very important and being in control of your emotions, more or less, and uh, in control of your life, in control of your health, of your daily routine, not being lazy, and also addressing some issues in your soul, in your heart, and um, see how you can achieve this inner balance and also that leads to balance between us and other people. So there are two parts of me. There is the friendly Lena that goes out and um, talks to people. I talk to everybody on the street and I really love people. I like to interact with people of any nations that um, makes me want to learn all the languages in the world, which, which is impossible, but at least learning one or two languages is a good goal, and that's what I'm doing in my free time. And the other part of me is the dominant Lena, who likes to give control to the ones who ask for it. But before some of you say, I submit, I would like to tell you about the dominant side and about what I'm trying to achieve with this whole teaching the knight on how to serve his queen or slave training, you can call it. And I don't like to call it mistress and slave because there is too much of internet porn associated with this whole dynamic and this is not what it's all about. I am going to address what is inside this shell of PVC and leather boots and spanking whips and whatever else, what's inside, what's in the core and what is important for a submissive man to, to do in order to achieve this balance in himself and address his submissive side without neglecting, suppressing or being ashamed of it. So, I am dominant and I like to be in control of what's going on in different parts of my life with different people. But I don't want to control the ones who do, who do not want to be controlled. There's a very don't want to invade anybody's freedom. But some of you who like control are welcome to submit to me and I will guide you on what it takes and what the reality is of being under control of a female. I believe that all women are there to control men's sexuality because Men's sexuality is something very strong, powerful and wild and it can go into violent ways when releasing itself and it can also create a lot of good things, kind and uh, giving. Um, and a woman, a woman's role, but not many women understand this yet, is to control, control men's sexuality. Traditionally, it's not really common to believe so, but there will be the time when all women will understand that this is their role and all men will want to submit their sexuality to their women. And you might say, hey, dream on, that will never happen, but this is what I believe and you can believe something else and it's fine, we can still be friends if you want to. <laughs> I want to because I like people who have the same point of view but I also like people who have a different point of view that's all about exchange and challenging what you believe. So you're welcome to object. And uh, what I like to do in the videos is stretch a little bit first because I don't think that sitting still um, 
is a good idea because if I can talk and do something else at the same time, like stretch, I'm doing both good for the mind and for the body and for somebody else. Plus, you might get inspired to do a bit of stretching yourself and exercise. And in the videos, I try to combine some advice on healthy lifestyle that might motivate you in even a little way to change some of the habits that you might consider as bad habits like smoking or I don't know, eating too late, eating too much junk food, drinking too much, endless, endless, maybe procrastinate, being lazy, waking up too late on the weekends and not going outside enough, using too much of the computer and well, your sitting position, not stretching enough, blah, 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 not drinking enough water. There's just so much that we can talk about. And if not me, then not many people really care about us, so nobody would tell us, hey, I think you have a bad habit that you should change. Because, you know, people care about themselves, or maybe their mother, father, and um, husband and wife, but about their children too, but not about you, your friends. You wouldn't tell your friend, hey, you know what? I think you would really benefit if you opened your shoulders and didn't walk like this all the time, but walked in a bit straighter sort of position. That will save you from back pain when you're old. Do you ever hear that from your friends? If you do, you're lucky because your friends really care about your health. But most of us don't, because friends appreciate us for who we are, but not really trying to improve us or interfere in the way we live. But I would like to interfere, especially with your diet. So that's one area, the health area. I try to push people and motivate people to take good care of their bodies and to invest time and effort into making themselves more healthy, investing into your future so that you don't have to spend a lot of money and uh, a lot of time in the hospitals, say in 10 years or 20 years. And back then you can email me and say, thank you for changing my habit 20 years ago. But who knows, it's just, just a dream. I think that contributing to somebody else's health is a great, great aim in life. And if I can change anybody's bad habits, not what I consider bad, but what you consider bad, it's great, I'm happy. And second part is, there are some men, and I believe that, I think it's about 10% of all male population, that have these submissive desires and fetishes. And in my opinion, these men are the men whose intuition is more developed and who are blessed with the <laughs> controversial, with the true knowledge of uh, the woman being there to control their sexuality. So they have these instincts and desires to submit to a woman sexually. Not in their working life, not in their personal, you know, like personal relationships with people, but in their sexual life. And that is, there is a natural desire, but most of the men do not understand it. And some are ashamed of it, some try to hide it, some try to suppress it. When you try to suppress something, it eats you from the inside and it, it is as bad as something something growing inside you physically, something that gets removed with a scalpel at the hospital. So don't let anything eat you from the inside. If something is suppressed, let it out, one way or another. So some suppress it, some, some are ashamed of it, and some address it, but do not know the way. So most men end up on the internet searching for a dominant woman, a mistress, and all they get is a submissive woman, just like they are, in boots and stockings in front of the camera saying, do this, do that, you little piece of shit. And your worthless, pathetic male, kiss my feet and um, lick my boots clean. That is the common reputation of the BDSM, of the dominant female, but it's not true. Why? Because she is just a reflection of what you have asked for.
some fulfillment of the fetishes and all your fetishes are nothing more than the desire to submit to a woman, truly. To serve a woman, to serve your woman, to serve your queen, to be a knight, to be noble and to do all the noble deeds of serving your queen, serving your woman. A woman who will gladly accept control from you over your sexuality. But, to truly find what you're looking for, you have to look in the core, in the core of what is this mistress and what is this dominant woman and what does she want, what does she really want. Does she want me to lick her boots or does she want me to be myself and do something for her that will actually add to her life? and be more than a play in the bedroom and you have to think about it, you have to dig but if this desire of submission to a woman is within you and in most of you, if you noticed, it would have had started when you were in kindergarten probably or primary school it starts very early, I think it's inborn and it is the right instinct to follow, you're the blessed ones so am I, <laughs> if you understand the truth. And many men understand it when they're in their 40s and the desires get stronger with age because you tend to feel the truth and you need the time, you need the time to realize what the truth is. So listen to your desires, but also try to refrain from Sticking to the shell, to the outside shell, because it will not give you anything, but it will just keep you in your illusions and not let you any further into the core of the whole beautiful control dynamic. And the training is about this control. And what you gain from the training is totally up to you, because all I'm trying to do is show you the point of view of the dominant person to the submissive and you will have to do your own thinking, your, your homework and follow my guidance to find out what is within you, what power it can be, what balance it can bring to your life and how it can release your suppressed desires and your suppressed energy. How, you can, how it can help you grow and be a happier person with being yourself as well as um, adding to your mistress's life by serving her. So, if you watch this and you still want to send me an email and say that you submit and find out more. Great. But if you think that you want to stick to the shell and that the fetishes addressed by mistresses online asking you to lick her boots to get undressed in front of a webcam, that's fine. That's, that might be your play and you might enjoy it. I think it is both a waste of time and energy to indulge in the play but too often but it is different for everybody so this is the introduction and if you have anything to say to me or submit to me the email address is p o l n i n a l i p i n a k o r e a at gmail.com good luck that's, that's not the right thing to say. Hope to see you again. Yeah, that's a better one.